Hi, my name is Syed Abidi, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Iconics USA. And in this short segment today, we have with us uh, the Product Manager at Iconics USA, Nick Petrowski. Thanks for having me. Welcome to our show, Nick. And uh, Nick's been around with the company for about over 12 years and also been in the industry for over 12 years and uh, brings in a lot of experience. So Nick, why don't you tell us about some of your main responsibilities and roles? So my main responsibilities now at the company involve um, running the applications team. So we have a crew of uh, three applications engineers, yourself included, um, which we go out and do consulting, as well as assist our customers in using our product and understanding what it means to use electrical safety testers. Then I also get involved from product conception all the way to product release. So kind of the full gamut of getting a product seed of an idea to when it really flowers into something, a new gen product. Awesome. All right, so with that said, we're gonna have uh, a few questions that I'm gonna pose for you and we're gonna hear your thoughts. So the first question, a very basic one, tell us about the importance of electrical safety testing based on your experience. Electrical safety testing is critical from the aspect of consumer safety. Uh, whether that be somebody who's using a large piece of x-ray equipment in the laboratory, all the way on down to something as simple as a vacuum cleaner and a household appliance. A lot of people take it for granted that these things get into their homes and they use them and the reason they can use them and not get hurt is because they're safe. And they're safe because you run these electrical safety tests on these products to make sure that the insulation is sound and it has proper grounding. So it's critical for end user to get a product to market. You have to run these electrical safety tests. Great. <clears throat> All right, so next question. With 12 plus years of experience under your belt, how have you seen the industry advance? Meaning that how was electrical safety testing done when you first entered the industry versus how it's been done now? And then where do you see the future of this industry heading to? The concept behind electrical safety testing itself really hasn't changed. You need to test the insulation, you need to test the grounding, measure leakage current, these types of things. It's, it's the methodology and the tech that we're seeing in the instrumentation that has changed over time. So for example, when I first started, I saw a lot more analog type instrumentation. And now it's moved over to the realm of digital. Now you're seeing a lot more with touch screens. I've even now seen black box high pot testers where you will start it from a phone or an app or a desktop that's not even connected to the unit and it's all remotely controlled. One of the biggest changes I've seen is how data is handled. Data recording is, is critical for regulations and auditing purposes. If something goes wrong with a product, you need to know why that happened. You need to dig into those records and figure it out. I saw a lot of handwritten records in the past. That's now all moved over more to a cloud-based storage. So people are able to pull this information and use data and analytics to inform better decisions on product quality manufacturing. Great. All right, well, with that said, um, once again, thank you for being with us. It was my pleasure. Hope, yeah, and hopefully we're going to get another opportunity to have you in a, one more segment. That'd be great. Sure. Yeah. Okay, hopefully you guys gained some valuable information from this segment. If you have any questions on anything that was discussed in this video, please feel free to reach out to us. And once again, thank you for joining us and stay tuned to our upcoming videos.